What's going on, YouTube? Hope everybody's doing well. We are on our way to the lake again this morning. So we are heading to Teleco Lake, and we are going to do a little bit of post-spawn crappie fishing. One of my favorite times to fish. Post-spawn fish are so easily patternable. Uh, is that a word? Patternable. Pattern. Patternable. Can you pattern the fish after the spawn? Absolutely you can. So we're going to go try to do that this morning. I'm looking forward to it because it's going to be a great show. Teleco is probably one of the best summer crappie lakes in East Tennessee. It fishes so well in the summer, and I'm looking forward to it. So stick with us. We'll be right back, and we're going to go catch some fish. See you in a minute. All right, YouTube, welcome back. So we're out here on Telco Lake, like I said earlier. We are gonna do some post-spawn crappie fishing. And what we're gonna to try to target is structure that is between the spawning flats and the main channel, okay? So we're trying to catch those fish as they're coming back out towards the main channel. We're gonna be fishing probably 20 to 30 feet of water. We're gonna be using a six and a half foot ACC crappie stick with a Fluger Trion size 25 reel, got the 12 pound bonehead braid in orange, and then we're gonna use the Slick Neon Stump Bug. We got that on a quarter ounce head, okay? Quarter ounce head, chartreuse. We're gonna see if we can't get down to these fish a little quicker with a little heavier head, so we don't have to wait as long for the jig to fall. And we're gonna try to target, like I said, fish on structure. So let's see if we can't go catch a few. There's one. Nice fish right there, guys. <laughs> well, I said we're going to target structure. I looked out on my live scope. There's a fish sitting out there suspended. Check that out. Nice crappie. Nice white crappie. Post spawn. This fish has spawned out. Real pretty fish. Look at that. Nice one to start the morning. Bad start. There's one. All right. Another good fish, guys. Another nice keeper. We're going to keep a few today.
measure this one, see how big he is. Ho, ho, ho. I'm losing him. Come here. Oh yeah, 11 inches. Yes sir. -y. Bunch of fish sitting down there, guys. Bunch of fish. Oh, water fish. There he is. It's a good fish too right here. Another nice post-spawn crappie fishing boat, guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. Check that out. Nice white crappie. Mmm, gonna taste yummy. Gonna taste yummy. So all we're doing right here, guys, is just casting these, casting this jig over top of these fish. And just making a slow, steady retrieve through the fish. Get a little closer. <laughs> oh, that's a little guy. That's a little bitty. Little baby. That slick neon stump bug doing the trick. Hope they get bigger, though. The trick is to cast past the brush pile and then work your jig back through the fish. Got him. Good fish right here too. Come in. <laughs> oh yeah. Again, you don't want that jig to fall right down on them. You want that jig to fall past the fish. That way you can work it back through. 11 and a half. Hilly. Hilly. Another good one. Nice. Nice. Post spawn fish, baby. Guys, I'm telling you, the spawn is fun, but post spawn, it's so easy to pattern these fish. You can find them out here in these creek channels. 
They stack up. That fish came out and hammered it, son. Good fish right here. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. When you find them, boy, you find them. Slow, steady retrieve. Just take it away from him. Nice. Little guy. A little bit of a mixture on this one. Got him. I don't think he's going to keep. Guys, I'm telling you, find you a creek channel from a spawning flat out towards the main river. Find you some structure. You can catch a lot of fish. Post spawn. There he is, guys. Good fish. Good fish. <laughs> Good fish. Post spawn crappie fishing, guys. I absolutely love it. No better way to catch fish. Come out here in shorts. Got a little hoodie on today. It was a little chilly this morning, but uh, post spawn crappie fishing, I absolutely love it. Go get yourself an ACC rod, some bonehead tackle stump bugs. Hit those creek channels, find those brush piles, catch you some fish. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. As always, God bless. We'll see you on the next one.